I'm Juliette and today I have another mommy meal prep. This one is for fat loss and it's a total of nine meals and three recipes. I will be putting everything in the video description. If you have any questions, make sure to check that out. And I would love your input on this video, so please leave a comment at the end. And if you like it, hit the thumbs up button. But thank you so much for watching and let's get started. First, let's start off with our ingredients. I have one pound of lean ground beef, six eggs, two bell peppers, half of an onion, some avocado oil, chopped minced garlic, paprika, garlic salt, chili powder, pink Himalayan salt, or you could use regular salt, and black pepper. Now I'm going to heat my large pan over medium high heat. I'm going to be using this same pan for all of my recipes today. I'm also going to chop up my bell peppers. First, I'm just taking out all of the seeds and then I'm going to use my handy dandy chopper, which is my absolute favorite. I'll be linking all of my favorite products from today's video in the video description, so be sure to check that out. Now I'm going to cut my onion in half and chop it using the same chopper. Now that my pan is nice and warmed up, I'm just going to put a little bit of avocado oil in there so I can saute up my veggies. So I'm just going to pour all of the veggies in there and saute them until they're a little bit more opaque or just not as vibrant. While I'm waiting on the veggies to cook, I'm just going to crack six eggs into a medium sized bowl and add in all of my seasonings to the egg mixture. Um, I did not measure any of this, so if you would like a measurement, I would just go with half a tablespoon of each seasoning and then I just mixed everything together so these eggs are ready to go once I'm ready to use them. Now that the veggies are cooked, I'm just going to add in my ground beef and I'm just going to chop it up with my spatula. I have a meat chopper to cook with. I don't know why I didn't use it today, but I'm just chopping it up and I'm going to cook the meat until it's no longer pink and then I can add in my egg mixture. And here is Luxie. Of course, when I'm cooking, she is also cooking. I remembered that I never added in my garlic at the beginning when I was cooking the veggies up, so I just added it in here. It's two tablespoons of minced garlic. So I'm going to add that in and finish cooking up the meat until it's no longer pink. And then I'm going to add in my egg mixture. After adding in my egg mixture, I'm just going to stir it until all of the eggs are cooked and everything is combined thoroughly. And that is three days worth of breakfast and it is really yummy. I was surprised by this recipe, honestly, because I was like, this doesn't really seem like a breakfast food, but it is so filling and delicious. Next time I make this recipe, I'm going to double up on it and make Luxie some breakfast burritos and just add some cheese in and freeze them. I feel like that would be such a good mommy and me meal prep. So let me know if you try that because next time I make this, I'm going to. Next up, we have cauliflower fried rice with shrimp. So I have two bags of riced veggies, two bags of cooked shrimp and extra small that's uh, deveined and no tail with some chili powder, garlic salt, 
some red hot stinging honey garlic. I think this made the recipe, honestly. And some paprika, ground ginger, and sesame seeds. And of course, a little bit of avocado oil. So let's go. I'm starting off with the same large pan and heating it up over medium high heat with a little bit of avocado oil. And I'm dumping in both bags of the cauliflower veggie rice mixture. Once the veggies are cooked and no longer frozen, I'm just going to add in both my bags of shrimp. Now I'm just going to mix the two together very well and then add in all of my seasonings. Again, I did not measure, but you can still go by the half tablespoon measurement to start out with and kind of go from there depending on what you like. Now I'm just going to let that simmer for honestly as long as it takes because there's going to be a lot of water that comes up and I decided to add in another bag of just cauliflower rice because I wanted it to be uh, more volume so I added that in there and then as you can see it absorbed a lot of the liquid and then I'm just separating it into three different containers and that is lunch for three days. This is so good and very high protein. If you wanted to add even more protein in, you could crack a couple of eggs in here too, but I loved it just how it was, and Luxie even tried the shrimp, and she loved it too. Now I'm just going to sprinkle some sesame seeds on top, and we're good to go. For dinner, we're having a very easy chicken stir fry. So let's get out all of our ingredients. Five boneless, skinless chicken breasts. This is my first time using it, but some microwavable jasmine rice. And next time I will just make my own because I don't like the ingredients in these bags. Anyways, um, a bag of frozen peppers and onion mix and some chili powder, some garlic powder, Lowry season salt a little pat pat, some Frank's red hot stinging honey garlic, that is the star of the show honestly, and some sugar free stir fry sauce. Before I heat up my pan, I'm just gonna go ahead and cube up this chicken. So I'm just taking it out of the package, cutting off all the additional fat and cubing it into like pieces so that way they cook evenly. Now I'm going to heat my pan over medium high heat with a little bit of avocado oil and I'm going to cook up my chicken and season it all in the pan. Again with the seasonings, I did not measure, but this is a lot of chicken, so I would start off with a tablespoon of each seasoning and work your way from there, um, depending on what you like. After you're done seasoning, make sure that you mix the chicken up thoroughly so that way the seasoning is evenly distributed amongst the chicken and then just cook it until it has reached an internal temperature of 165 degrees. I just use a little meat thermometer and I check different parts of the chicken on each side to make sure that it's all cooked. 
Now I'm just adding a little bit of extra avocado oil and I'm just gonna cook up that chicken. While I'm waiting on the chicken to cook, I'm just going to microwave both bags of my ready rice. Now that the chicken is cooked, I'm just going to add in my frozen peppers and onion mix and mix it all up and let it cook together. Now I'm going to add in half a bottle of the stir fry sauce and I'm going to let that sit and simmer for a few minutes. And then I'm just going to put that in three separate containers with the jasmine rice and there's dinner. Thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope that you enjoyed it. If you did, please hit that thumbs up button. It really helps support my channel and make sure that you check out the video description if you have any questions. But once again, thank you for watching and I hope you have a great day. Bye.